hello friends in last video lecture we have seen network topology its significance and types so as far as the types are concerned we are having bus topology star topology ring topology mesh topology tree topology and the hybrid topology so in this lecture we specifically focus on the bus topology how this bus topology works along with its merits and demerits means that is advantages and the disadvantages so this is diagram of bus topology you can see that there is one main link which is terminated with the help of terminators at both the ends so this link is known as baseline so all nodes of this bus topology are there on this baseline this all nodes are connected there with the baseline with the help of one connector that is known as tap these are nothing but the connectors for every node there is tap and this link between the node and the baseline is known as drop link means using this drop link and this connector which is tap every node can be easily connected on the baseline this baseline is terminated there at both the ends with the help of terminator node means anything maybe server printer or any type of peripheral devices which are actually involved there in the networking or any type of workstation which is part of network is term as node here so we have seen that one single network cable that is known as baseline is used from one end to another end with different network devices connected to the cable at different locations and that baseline is terminated with the help of terminators and the tap which is there to connect that node to the baseline is basically a connector which is made up of metal and the drop line is there that is drop link between that tap and the node and as the signal travels across the bus means from one end to the another end some of the energy is converted into heat energy and because of that there is a weakening of signal and because of this signal weakening there is limitations the number of taps and the distance between them that is distance between two nodes and because of this we cannot use large number of computers or we cannot apply this bus topology where there is a large network area and the taps we use there in the bus topology to connect node to the baseline is basically bncd connector that allows the network to continue its bus this type of topology or this type of network is also known as 10 base 2 ethernet or the thin ethernet means flow of signal is here from one end to another end and while traveling this signal from one end to another end there is heat generation and because of this heat generation signals become weak because of this weakening of signal we are having certain limitations on the number of nodes or number of computers that's why we have to use this bus topology for small area what are the advantages of bus topology or you can say merits of bus topology this bus topology is least expensive because there is limitation on the number of nodes and area because of less number of components or the components are of same configuration 
this burst topology is easy to set up or easy to install and because of its easy installation and the minimum number of components we can easily maintain this burst topology and this burst topology model is actually very efficient whenever we have small network area these are some advantages of burst topology now we are having some disadvantages associated with burst topology first one is the inflexible means here if you want to add any additional node there in the burst topology then it is difficult to add means here in burst topology we are having seven nodes so here you want to add additional node or the new node here between this node 7 and node 2 then the distance between this 7 and 8 is actually less as compared to the distance between this 1 and 7 or distance between any two existing nodes so in order to add new node here you have to reshuffle all these nodes you have to shift or reshuffle all these seven existing nodes so there is no flexibility as far as the addition of new node is concerned next is the fault identification so here in burst topology fault identification is difficult means this burst topology drops signal there at every node so if one of the node goes down then in that case we cannot identify fault easily and whenever there is difficult fault identification then there is there is a difficulty in troubleshooting next remit is bus topology is unreliable if portion of bus breaks down then entire bus cannot function here you can see that if this bus topology breaks here then this entire network will be collapsed that's why we say there is no reliability as far as the use of bus topology is concerned so we we'll stop here thank you for watching